Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when audio is not working with Avatar Frontiers of Pandora game on your Windows computer. So if the audio is not working at all, or if you're facing audio desync issue or audio cut issue, or if the audio is lagging, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to, if you have installed the game on external hard drive, then you can uninstall and reinstall the game to internal, internal drive. So you don't have to move the file. You have to uninstall the game from the external hard drive and then reinstall the game to internal, the C drive. So if the C drive is a SSD, that would be great. So install the game to the to your main drive, that is C drive, and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next tip is to verify the game files. Now to verify the game file, if you have the game on uh, Ubisoft Connect, go to Ubisoft Connect, go to games, and then click on this down arrow for more actions and then click on verify files after the verification you can launch the game if you have the game on epic games launcher then go to library and then over here now over here uh, here you can see three dots click on the three dots and then click on manage and then click on verify now after the verification you can launch the game and then check the audio next step is to make sure that you select the right audio device in windows sound settings so on the bottom right over here you can see the sound the speaker icon click on it and over here you can see this speaker icon in front of it click on this select a sound output option and over here you can see output device and make sure you select the right audio device so whichever device you're using for the audio over here you might see multiple options so make sure that you select the right audio device over here select it just click on it and then launch the game once again and then check the sound next step is to turn on or turn off vsync so try vsync with with on or off and then check lock the fps at 60 and lower down graphics settings so if you launch the game and then turn off or turn on the vsync and then check the sound now the next step is to turn on or turn off vsync so launch the game and then go to settings and then go to video now over here you can see vsync so if this is on you can turn it off and then check if it is already off then turn on the vsync apply the settings and then check so check with vsync on or off and then check if the audio is working fine or not also lock the fps so uh, go to frame rate limit and then you can turn it on and then you can set the fps at 60 over here apply the settings and then check the sound do the same thing in nvidia control panel so make a right click on the desktop and then click on nvidia control panel And then go to manage 3d settings over here and then go to program settings and then click on add and then select the game from the list so select the game over here if you don't see the game over here you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file then click on add selected program and then over here select high performance nvidia processor and then find vertical sync and you can set it to uh, on turn it on click on apply and then now you have to restart the game make sure that you close the game and relaunch the game and if that does not work you can turn it off and then apply and then check and do the same thing with frame so find frame rate over here in the list maximum frame rate here you can see now you can turn it on and then set it to 60 60 and then apply the settings and then launch the game and then check check the sound now also lower down graphics settings so go to settings go to video you can try window mode over here and then check 
also if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower it down apply it and then go to graphics over here now if the graphics quality is set to ultra you can set it to high you can even go for medium and then apply the settings and then check the performance now still the audio is not working fine then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to press windows plus g on the keyboard so press windows plus g it will open xbox game bar now on the top over here you can see speaker icon click on it and then over here you can see audio and over here select the right audio device so click on this down arrow and make sure that you select the device the speaker which you want to use now also scroll down and if you find the game in the list over here make sure the volume is set to maximum and then go to voice now over here also make sure that you select the right audio device and scroll down here you can see speaker communication output again select the right audio de device in my case it's realtek audio so whichever headphone or speaker you're using make sure that you select that particular device over here now after this launch the game and then check now the next step is to select the right audio device in sound settings now on the bottom right over here you can see the speaker icon click on it and over here you will see sound volume bar now click on this icon if you see this click on it and then make sure here also you select the right audio device whichever audio device which you want to use which whichever speaker you want to use now scroll down again make sure the volume is set to maximum for the game now you can make a right click on the speaker icon over here and then click on open sound settings click on sound settings and over here also you can make sure that it is set to right speaker make sure that you select the right speaker over here and make sure when you go to volume mixture over here make sure the volume for uh, game is set to maximum and then launch the game and then check next step is to restart the game so if the game is running close the game and then launch the game once again if that does not work restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart again select the right audio device from here make sure that you select the right audio device and then the next step is to set sound sample rate to 48 or 44 hertz 1000 hertz in sound control panel so to open sound control panel type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now over here you can see hardware and sound click on it now click on sound over here and this will open sound control panel now over here make sure that you select the right speaker so you can if this, this is set to something else you can select your right speaker and you can set as default in my case this is already default now make a right click on on your speaker and then click on properties and then go to advanced now over here you can select 40 48000 hertz 24 bit or 16 bit or you can select 44,100 hertz or 44,100 for 60, 16 bit. So you can try 48 or 44 and then apply the settings. So I will select 24 and then apply. And you can also check, uh, you can uncheck allow hardware acceleration of audio with this device. If this is checked, you can try to uncheck it and then check. If that does not work, you can enable or disable audio en enhancement. So you can put a check, uncheck it and check which one is working fine for you. So make sure that you select 48 or 44,000 Hertz in sound control panel for your speaker. And then the, still you're facing the problem. Then if you're playing with controller, in that case, disconnect the controller and then start the game. So launch the game after you disconnect the controller and then once the game is up and running, once the, you can hear the sound, now you can connect the controller once sound is established and then check. Now the next step is to turn off spatial sound. Again, make a right click on the speaker and then click on sound settings. Or you can simply type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, hardware and sound, click on, click on sound over here. Now in sound control panel select your speaker and then make a right click then select properties and go to spatial sound and turn this off and then click on apply click on ok now launch the game and then check next step is to disable if you have any other audio device enable in 
playback you have to disable that device so open sound control panel once again again make a right click uh, sorry type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to hardware and sound again click on sound and then over here here you can see I have so many audio device so make sure that you enable the speaker only uh, only enable that speaker which you want to use like for me it's Realtek audio which I'm using right now so if you want to use whichever device you want to use just make sure that only that is enabled rest you can disable so in my case here you can see headphones a coolest virtual audio device so if you have this make a right click and then disable it I'm not going to use it so I will disable it. headphones I'm not using so I will disable it now voice meter if you have any other audio device if you're not using it then you can disable it so only enable the device audio device which you want to use I don't want to use Nvidia output I will disable it so make sure that only the device which is which you are using is enabled and now do the same thing in device manager so make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager to open device manager expand sound video and game controllers over here and then you have to select the audio which you which you want to use so only make sure only that audio device is enabled in my case it's real tech so whichever headphones speaker external ex speaker whichever you are using you can enable that and rest you can disable it so I'm not going to use this uh, voice meter I will go ahead and disable it click on yes I'm not going to use Aculus I will make a right click and then disable it yes I'm not going to use Nvidia I will disable it so you can disable all the speaker over here which you are not using and make sure only that speaker is enabled which you want to use and then now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to uncheck hands-free telephony now for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this and then type in run in Windows search box and then click on run and then paste the command over here and then click on OK now over here you have to select your speaker so whichever speaker you're using you have, you have to select that speaker over here so in my case I don't have any external speaker over here so I'll show you now once you have your speaker connected in my case it's eyeball so you can select your speaker over here and then make a right click and then click on properties and then go to the services tab now over here you can see hands-free telephony you have to uncheck this box now once you uncheck it now click on apply click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to disconnect external microphone connected to the computer so if you have any kind of external microphone if you're not using microphone in the game then you can disconnect the external microphone um, if you have connected any external microphone you can also disable internal microphone you can disable the microphone in, even in the uh, control panel sound control panel so type in control panel in Windows search box only if you're not going to use the microphone if you're using the microphone you don't have to do this so go to sound once again over here and then you can go to the go to the uh, recording tab over here and if you're not using microphone you can make a right click then click on disable it now after disable you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install audio driver to install audio driver uh, make a right click on the start menu then open device manager and then expand sound video and game controllers select your audio device in my case it's Realtek you can make a right click then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers it will tell you to search for driver in Windows update click on it if there is any update let the update complete restart your computer and then launch the game and then check still you're facing the problem make a right click and then click on uh, update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer so when you make a right click over here you can see different drivers over here now here you might see high definition audio device high definition audio driver something like that you can select that and then click on next install it 
or if you see Realtek, Realtek over here, you can select the another one. You can try different drivers over here. So select different drivers over here and then click on next, install it and then restart your computer and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the audio issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to me.